Well, Brock Rice sent me a poem that his daddy Rusty wrote, and I just love it. It's called Belly Deep in Grass. The rain, it stopped in April, and the heat, it came to stay. And here it is in mid-July, and I'm feeding up the hay that I'd cut and bale to get them through the winter months this year. And with hungry cows and empty tanks, I just can't help but fear. But when the skies do open up, my troubles all will pass when I wake up to cattle standing belly deep in grass. My hay is gone in August while my cows were getting heavy, so I pushed them to the southern lot just across the levee to put them on the native grass and see if they could feed. But the blue stem and the grandmas have been overrun by weeds. And my telephone no longer works. But I know this all will pass when the blue stem tickles cattle standing belly deep in grass. September brings more hot and dry. The coastal has turned brown, and the sprigs I planted back in May have withered in the ground. I sold off last year's heifers to pay interest on my debts, and the TV says the rain will come, but it ain't happened yet. There's no beer in the cooler, and my truck's near out of gas. I pray my coastal grows round cattle standing belly deep in grass. I haul hay in from Kansas, and the calves start coming out. They're awful light this year because their moms have done without the oats and wheat that should have fed them into early spring. There can't be much nutrition in the bags they're suckling. And the banker is complaining, and the tax man's coming fast. My only hope is cattle standing belly deep in grass. November comes, and the rain, it falls and falls and falls some more. My ryegrass seed has flooded to the neighbor's place next door, and my hungry cows, with calves in tow, they start to make their way over, under, through the fence. It's my grass anyway. My kids are about half naked, and my neighbor's getting crass. He don't want my cattle standing belly deep in his grass. I don't know how I done it, but I made it through till May. I've mortgaged everything I own to buy them rascals hay. I'll pay my new debts off next month if the market treats me right, and my coastal grass is coming on, and I pray with all my might. But the rains, they quit again last week, and summer's coming fast. My hopes are still of cattle standing belly deep in grass. And so it is in Texas where the cycle never breaks. I'm hedging everything I own so y'all can have your stakes. And one day when the weather's right and the market treats me true, you'll get your stakes. And I might even make a buck or two. And the bankers, collectors, IRS no longer will harass. And I wake each day with cattle standing belly deep in grass. That's every rancher's dream. Talked to my friend Rich Anderson not long ago, and I said, Rich, how you doing? He said, Red, I'm doing great. For the first time in a long time, I've got cattle, grass, and water all in the same pasture. I thought that was the greatest line. You folks stay with us. We'll be right back with more of Cowboy Corner. 